Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about an announcement that the Fortnite status account recently made on Twitter, and that is that Legacy Aim Assist is getting completely removed on March 13th. The tweet reads, With improvements we've made to Aim Assist, we plan to remove the Use Legacy Look Control setting on March 13th. To use new settings and maintain your Legacy sensitivities, select Copy from Legacy in the Controller Options and toggle off Use Legacy Look Controls. So, if you guys don't really understand controller settings, there was new settings added in September of 2019, I believe. And the old settings that we had had up to that point were just referred to as legacy settings. This is what had the LT or the ADS auto rotation that you saw players spam to lock onto opponents that was often abused. And many people, pretty much everybody agreed that it was really overpowered and didn't require you to actually aim because as long as your cursor was on like near the opponent, you would slide or lock onto them for a brief moment. And if you shot at that time, you would hit the shot. Made long range with ARs way too consistent. And basically just dumbed down aiming when spraying, spraying through walls, you could use it. You could use it with shotguns. There was just a number of ways you could abuse ADS spam and have like really good aim without actually having to have the skill of good aim because all you were doing was abusing that mechanic pretty much. And this is going to be gone. If you never tried the new settings, there's two options exponential and linear exponential is going to feel most like legacy these are basically just the input curve of how your sensitivity works legacy aim assist was also an exponential curve and as far as i know exponential feels like legacy without the ads lock-on i don't personally play exponential i never did i went from legacy straight to linear and i do think linear is the better setting you lose out on some long range ar shots but i feel like long range with ars really isn't the biggest deal especially because like the heavy snipers in the game if you're peeking into a heavy snipe with the ar you're probably just gonna die myself personally i've been on linear since october of last year and i feel like i'm pretty consistent at like medium to long range with assault rifles it's nothing extreme like you could do with legacy like you could be across the map and just tap people but i'm pretty consistent with ars i, I don't know what gameplay i'm going to use in the background but likely there's going to be some ar gameplay even with the aug at long range the heavy ar whatever I've been able to be consistent with assault rifles at medium range on linear. So I, I do think it is like achievable. It's definitely something that if you put the time in on that setting and you get used to it and practice aiming, you will get better at medium range with assault rifles. A lot of people when they first switch act like it's impossible to be good with ARs on linear. And that's just not the case. Myself, many other players I know on linear are all still good with assault rifles once we've put the time in. And if you don't want to have to learn linear, you can just use the copy settings like Fortnite suggested and then play on exponential. Exponential is still good. And there are a lot of players who play on it. I believe Nick Merckx and Aiden both play on exponential, but I could be wrong on that because I don't stay like super up to date with everyone's settings. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video to tell you guys that legacy is getting removed and that you should probably switch now rather than later. Get used to something, ease your way into it because... Me personally, I don't really see much of a point in playing on something that you know is going to be gone in a week, you know? And that was one of the things that motivated me to switch to linear last October was I felt like at some point legacy was going to be removed. Like, why add these new settings if you're going to have legacy in the game? It just doesn't even really make sense. I feel like one of their goals was always to remove legacy. One final thing I want to touch on is that in this tweet, they say, with improvements we've made to aim assist, we plan to remove the legacy look controls. So I don't know of any improvements that they've made recently. There was a bug at the start of the season that they ended up fixing, but I don't think that's what they mean. I hope they mean that they're adding scope sensitivity to the new settings. They're fixing the aim assist, not working through windows with the new settings, and then maybe even adding edit aim assist onto the new settings. Those are three things that have just been gone since these new settings came out. We didn't have a scope sensitivity, which was very frustrating because myself personally, I use a much higher scope sense than I do my ADS sense. And then edit aim assist, I don't personally use, but there are people out there who used it and that kind of deterred them from switching. And then finally windows and like weird barriers messing up aim assist being a problem is just super lame. And I actually have a video on that that I posted towards the end of season one, talking about controller problems that Fortnite needs to fix. I have a link to that in the description below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful, whatever. I just wanted to let you guys know, like I said, that legacy is remo being removed. You should probably switch now. I'll probably have another video out in a day or two talking about how to switch, like more in-depth explanation of the different settings. 
if you guys want to see that. I just can't personally make it right now because I'm kind of rushing to get this video out so that you guys can be made aware of it. So I hope you found it helpful. If you do, please remember to give it a like, comment what you think of it, think of this change down below, and subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me and the video, like I said, detailing the difference between linear and exponential in depth. Thanks for watching.